hear me all right? Yep, I can hear you fine. All right, so transponder, so the tower can see us. BFR code 1200. We can change this code if they give us a different one. Okay. But for the most part, we start at 1200. Uh, a little um, weather information. You got to keep the mic close to your mouth because they're voice activated. And you do have an independent uh, volume thing up here, so you can change the volume on your headset. Okay. I'm going to taxi out to the open area. Some scattered clouds around, okay. visibility's good, all that stuff. And the weather information is called November. Hmm. Okay. They start, you know, whatever time they start, and they give it Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. So it just goes down the alphabet. Right. There's really no meaning to it, except for they need to know that you need you have the current weather. So I'm going to call the ground controller, tell them who I am, where I am, and what I want. Okay. Van Nuys Ground, Cessna 7505 Golf, Rotor Effects, Taxi, November. Cessna 7505 Golf, Van Nuys Ground, runway 16 right, Taxi V Alpha. 16 right, V Alpha, 05 Golf. So now we've got permission. See our feet down here? Yes. All right. So if we hit the right one, we'll go to the right. We hit the left one. It steers the nose wheel. Okay. And the nose wheel is connected by springs, so it's not like a car. It's really, really mushy. Okay. Like if I just step on the right pedal, we don't really go flying over the right, right? So we got to kind of think ahead. If it's pointed that way and we're going that way, a little bit of right. A G3 from Bravo 2, south on Bravo, see playlist. Clary, see tag, hold north of the tall tail. Proceed south Bravo. Okay, proceed south Bravo. And, we'll and then I'll pull a little power back to slow us down a little bit. Okay. And hey, we're going to go uh, past this blast fence and over to the left. We do what we call a little run up before we go. Okay. And we just follow this yellow line. Like the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> And then the brakes are right on the toes, so I gently push both of them together. Okay. All right, so for a run-up, go ahead and take this throttle. Give me 1,700 RPM. Excellent. All right, so now we look at our engine instruments. We got oil pressure. Temperature's coming up. It's charging properly. We got suction. Okay. Engine's good. Flight instruments. We're not moving, so zero miles an hour is good. This thing's up and erect. A little bit better than 800 feet. I know the altitude here is 800 feet, so it's within 75 feet. It's good. Okay. This is pointed at zero. We're not climbing or descending, so that's good. Compass heading is east, so we'll change that to east. Okay. All right. Those are all good. Then we come down. We'll do our mag check. So take that key and move it one click to the left. Good. Now one click to the right. All right. Now two clicks to the left. Good. Now two clicks to the right. All right. What we did was check the magnetos. It's got okay. two sets of spark plugs. Okay. So we turned one off, made sure the engine ran good, and then we okay. turned it back on. Then we turned the other one off, make sure the engine runs good, turn it back on. Okay. All right. So make sure our lights are in the proper position. We got the beacon light on. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. This is carburetor heat. It forces hot air into the carburetor should we be in the clouds or icing conditions. Okay. So let's go ahead and pull it out. We should get a reduction in RPM. And we did. So that's working. We'll push it back in. All right. Looks good. Everything's good. So now we take the throttle and pull it back to 1,000. Good. Now I'm going to call the uh, control tower and get his permission to take off. Okay. All right. 
when they give us permission, we're going to roll out onto the runway. When we get going straight down the runway, I'll let you know, full power. Okay. Keep this straight up like that. And as we start to move, Jay, the airflow over the wings will will move this back just a little bit, okay? Okay. And then once we get into the green, now we pull it back about two inches. Okay. And that lifts the nose wheel up, and we'll fly right off. Okay. All right. And the minute we get off the ground, the plane's going to probably want to do this because you no longer have the ground. And we just keep it straight. Okay. All right. So keep the wings level, the nose tilted up just a little bit, and we'll fly right out of here. Okay. Van Nuys Tower, Cessna 7505 Golf, holding short, 16 right, first uh, right crosswind departure. Cessna 7505 Golf, over the flood basin, right crosswind departure, approved, running 16 right, clear for takeoff. Over the basin, right turn on the go, 05 Golf. All right, so we're just going to taxi out there real slow like this. Yep. The runway is right out in front of us. You'll see it as it, it will open up. Now we're on the runway. Okay. And we got arrows pointing in the direction we need to go. <laughs> All right, so full throttle. See how the controls came back a little bit? Yeah. Cool. What do we got here? I'm just going to roll this like that. There we go. All right, we're in the green, so pull it back a couple of inches. Okay, it picks that nose wheel up, and we'll fly right off. Beautiful. Roll to the left a little bit. There you go. Excellent. And we can put the nose down just a little bit. There you go. Roll it to the left. There you go. Beautiful. Now roll it to the right. Roll it to the left. And then pick the nose up a little bit. There you go. And we'll just, right like that. Because we're starting to drift a little bit, so we'll go ahead and correct it a little bit. Okay. That's like that. There we go. And away we go. We're climbing up to about 2,500 feet today. Let the nose down a little bit and roll it to the left. There you go. Good. All right, Jay, let's make our right-hand turn. So we'll roll it to the right. There you go. Just about like that angle right there. And she'll turn. And we're going to head out right about here. Let's roll out. And we'll head this way. About 210 on the directional gyro. Okay. And we are off to Topanga Canyon. Speed right now is almost eight, it's 85, which is perfect. Okay. And we're climbing at about six, seven hundred feet a minute. Let's turn off to the right just a little bit, so we'll just roll her like that, and then level it off right about here. Let's 
the Santa Monica Mountains. Nice. Encino Reservoir. Okay. Home to people like the Jacksons. Okay. Some big houses down there. Oh, yeah. You know, I fly the helicopters a lot, and there's some enormous houses. Thanks a lot, Zero Five Go. I mean, I don't, you know, I mean, I guess I kind of get it. You know, if you're very successful, you need to show that. Right. Some so. of these things are huge. Alright, this is the Panga Canyon right in here. Okay. So we're going to fly into that. Okay. Right about 2,500. Excellent. We leveled off. Very good. I'm going to uh, start making some position reports on the helicopter frequency. Let them know we're here. Okay. Just in case there's anybody out here. Blue and white Cessna, 05 Golf, north to Panga Canyon, 2,500, southwest bound. We'll be southbound through the canyon. I didn't know it, uh, but I did a helicopter tour with some, uh, I guess he's a singer or something. Okay. And uh, he was telling me a lot of guys in the music business live out here in Topanga. Really? Yeah. It's kind of secluded, you know? Okay. I was wondering who had all these big spreads, you know, with the... Whatever it is that right. they got going on, like this guy here, if you look here, this is a big horse stable. Oh, yeah. All right, a little bit to the right. There we go, excellent. Just leave it like that for a minute till you get kind of going the direction you want, then you just roll a level. Okay. And the beach looks doable, I think. Okay. And that's the Panga Canyon right out. Got it. Yeah, Got we're going to buzz down. Okay. And we'll, we'll probably descend down to about 2,000. Okay. Blue and white Cessna, 05 Golf, Topanga Canyon, 2,500 southbound. Yeah, we can see. So down we go. Nice. And we'll just go through the canyon and if you lower your, you see we got a little teeny descent rate going on right now. Good job. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of uh, RPM out of it because as we go down, the wind going through the prop will speed it up. Okay. And I'm going to get ready for Santa Monica Control Tower. And we're going to give their, their controllers a call down by the shore and okay. get permission to be in their airspace. Okay. A lot of permission getting going on as a pilot. Yep. Santa Monica Tower, Cessna 7505 Golf, Topanga in the shoreline for an eastbound and then a turn to Van Nuys at 2000. Cessna 7505 Golf, Santa Monica Tower, Santa Monica Altimeter 29907, transition approved, report to turn. We'll report to turn 907 on the altimeter, 05 Golf. Santa Monica Tower, 
Uh, not everybody. Look at the clouds. All right, so we're 2,000. We'll level off here, and we're going to turn to the left. That's Santa Monica Pier down there. Okay. You can usually see the whole LA basin, but right. I guess not today. Oh, that's all right. Pretty good looking. Pedals that you're, you've been controlling the pedals a little more. With the feet, yeah, they just, they make us do this. Got it, okay. So they help us coordinate a turn. Got it. Now let's go ahead and make a left-hand turn. Santa Monica Tower, 05 Golf on that uh, eastbound turn for the Getty Center and then Van Nuys. 05 Golf, Roger, thank you. Port to turn from the Getty Center. We report to turn from the Getty, 05 Golf. All right, look at us. So, um... We're going to descend a little bit. Okay. And Santa Monica Tower, 05 Golf. We're going to descend a little bit, get around the cloud. 05 Golf, roger. Excellent. 465 Foxtrot, two See the line. white thing out in the distance? Yeah. That's the Getty Center. We're going to head right for that, all right? Okay. climb up, so I'm going to give you some power, and turn a little bit to the right. And we'll level off right about here, because we got another cloud in front of us. So we got rules about these clouds in this airspace. So, turn to the right just a little bit. There you go. the rule with clouds? Well, we need to stay away from them. Okay. And we're kind of, um, we need to stay 500 feet below them, 1,000 feet above them, 2,000 feet to the side. So that big white building right there, we're going right towards that. And we're climbing up just a little bit. Police then approve Santa Monica Altimeter 29997. Juliet Santa Monica Tower. Number two following a light sport on a uh, one mile left base from a tunk land. land. And then we're going to kind of follow the 405. We're going to follow the 405. Okay. Yeah, Santa Monica 05 Golf at the Getty Center turn in Van Nuys. Where is 05 Golf? Frequency is approved. Thanks a lot. 05 Golf. Van Nuys Tower, information November 1551 Zulu. When calm, visibility no. Good morning, Van Nuys Tower, Cessna 7505 Golf, Getty Center, 1800 feet, inbound, November. Cessna 7505 Golf, Van Nuys Tower, right traffic, running on six right, squawk 0223. 0223, 05 Golf. All right.
And we're just going to climb up just a little bit more. See, we're kind of right at the base of these clouds. But it clears up a little bit. Nice. So we're good. And the reason for that is, if we were to pop into the cloud, we wouldn't be able to see. Right. And uh, then all of a sudden we have to fly using these things. Got it. And without a clearance, we can't do that. Uh, okay. And we don't have that clearance. So we'll level off the nose a little bit, turn to the right just a little bit. That's good, right like that. And I can see the airport right in front of us. going to make us turn, once we get over this hill, we're going to turn a little bit to the left. Okay. Give us a little room. What do you think? It's kind of easy, huh? Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I think. I'm sure there's a lot more to it that uh, oh, yeah. I'm not being exposed well, to right now. To get your license, you need to start being able to control the airplane in almost any configuration. Sure. And that's, you know, just like anything else, you're going to drive or ride or fly or... Sure. So what's the uh, licensing process like? For it's, um, there's a, a minimum of 40 hours of flight experience. Okay. 20 of it has to be instructional, 10 of it has to be uh, by yourself. Oh, okay. And then there's a, a written test that's done on probably, I don't know, you know, um, it's not a very hard test if you read the one single book they want you to read. Right. It's probably written on like a 10th grade level. Let's descend down to 2000 now. And uh, then you'll sit with a guy like me, and you'll, he'll ask you a bunch of questions about your airplane, the airspace you're going to fly in, the atmosphere, a bunch of pilot kind of questions. Right, okay. And then, uh, then you go fly with them. Show them that you can maneuver the airplane, you can take it off, you can land it, you can stall it, you can turn it. Oh, okay. And then you'll be a licensed pilot. Gotcha. How long have you been flying? I've been flying since the 70s. Nice. I started flying when I was about 15 years old. I, it was 74 or 73 or something. Okay. I was licensed in 76. Okay. Let's descend down just a little bit more. All right, we're going to head out this way now. So a little bit of right-hand turn. There you go, perfect, just like that. Snap it straight. Woohoo! And see, that's the runway we're going to land on, but we're going to land going the other way. Got it, okay. And that's pretty much solely uh, uh, by the wind. Huh. Whatever way the wind's coming. Okay. Do they report back as to where the wind's going, or is there a way you can test it from here? I already, I, I got from the weather information. Got it, okay. Wind 32084. And there we go, there's the winds. Okay. 320 at 4, that's a wind change. And for 05 Golf, we still land in 1 6. Huh. Cessna 05 Golf, running on 6 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 1 6 right, 05 Golf. So we've been cleared to land. Okay. They usually announce that on the broadcast system there in the airplane. What that means is we're going to start making changes in our power and our airspeed. Okay. All right. And we'll do it. we got a couple of, like, uh, decision points. You can see on the runway down there at the end, you see the, all the white bars? Yes. Yeah, that's the beginning of the runway. And right where it says 1-6 right, that's kind of where I want to put the wheels down. Okay. So I'm going to call that, a kid, that's the touchdown point. Okay. So when we're beam that, we're going to take this throttle and pull it back to about 1700 for me, would you? You can do it now. Do it now? Yeah. We increase the back 
pressure on our yoke because what we're doing is going to slow down. There you go. That's good. Now, this is the flat button, so press and hold that for three seconds. Down. Yep. One, two, three. Excellent. And if we look up here, we got 10 degrees of flaps in. Okay. okay. Now, we've slowed the airplane down to our descent speed, 80. So okay. now we're going to lower the nose just a little bit. And I'm going to trim this thing up. So if we let go of the yoke, all right, I'm going to use that trim tab to trim my airplane up for that airspeed so I don't have a lot of work to do. Okay. Once I get 45 degrees off the numbers like I am now, let's go ahead and make a right-hand turn. We're going to do it at about 20 degrees of bank. Let's put our nose down a little bit. There we go. And we're going to turn 90 degrees. This is called a base turn. Okay. All right. We're a little steep, so we'll shake some out. There we go. All right. Good. Now give me another three seconds on that thing. One, two, three. Good. Now we got 20 degrees of flaps. Okay. We'll roll out level. And that's our landing spot right there. Okay. All right. We got 20 degrees of flaps, 17 inches. We're 80 knots. We're still looking great, man. Let's turn final. Okay. All right. So we keep our nose pointed down like that just a little bit in about this bank angle right here. And we should roll out right on the runway. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of power out because we're a whisker high. And we just keep turning until we're straight and narrow. And we roll a level. Another three seconds on that thing. No, dos, tres. All right, looking good. I'm going to take a little bit of power out because we're still a whisker high. And we just keep this attitude right here all the way down. Okay. All right. Loose grip on this thing. Tap out a song, whatever it takes, you know. Loose hands are fast hands. Yep. And when we get about five feet off the runway, we're just going to pick the nose wheel up a little bit. All right. He's like, how much is a little bit? Yeah. Just above uh, flat. So we're coming down like this. All right. So here we are at our spot. We flatten our airplane out, let a little airspeed bleed off, and then we just pick the nose up like that. Then I tower Skyhawk 889 or Lemur Bravo. Holding short of one. And then I apply a little bit of brakes, keep that nose wheel up. We're back to the yellow lines. And see, we got one going off to the right. That's for us. And we just follow that yellow line. Now, pretty soon, this controller here is going to uh, pass us off to a different one. Ground on 705 Golf. All right. So that's back to ground control, which is 121.7. Then we stop once we get off the runway. Go ahead and push that button up. Bravo. Van Nuys Ground, Cessna 7505 Golf, off at Golf for rotor effects. Cessna 7505 Golf, Van Nuys Ground, taxi parking via Alpha. Parking via Alpha, 05 Golf. So we put in a little bit of power. Right around 15, get us moving. A little bit of right pedal. And follow the yellow brick road. And once we're moving, I can bring this power back. Between 1,000 and 1,100's taxi kind of speed. Okay. And we may have a little wind coming at us. I might put in just a little bit more power. As over here. Those are, um, what are they called? They're T6's. Mm -hmm. They're made by, um, well, they're made for WW2. Right. That's what they trained fighter pilots in. Got it. Those right there. Okay. It's, it, there's a the whole story that goes behind the, Those guys are called the Condor Squadron. Okay. There's this old... Uh, uh, he was a, a World War II pilot for the Germans. Huh. And he moved to this country, and he's a lawyer, and I guess he was pretty successful. And he bought a bunch of those things and painted them up like, uh, painted two of them up like German planes and two of them up like American planes. And he used to do shows, huh. aerial shows. And they had a nice little thing over there for years and years and years. He got sick, right? Mm -hmm. And... For four or five, six, seven years, something like that, that whole place just started decaying. Wow. I mean, rotting away. Because he was, he was sick. He wasn't going there anymore. He, his family wasn't paying for anything. 
And when he died, <laughs> he left the Condor Squadron a shitload of money so they could buy more planes and build it back up and everything else. Wow, nice. So now they're back to doing whatever they were doing beforehand. Okay. Kind of cool. They, uh, if you're a veteran, you know, if you serve, actually, you don't even need to be a vet. If you served, period, mm -hmm. when you die, these guys, if you know about it, will do a missing man formation for you. Wow. At no cost to the family, nothing. Just They just get up and do a no ma uh, one missing man formation over yeah. your funeral. Wow. You know, if it's here. That's cool. Yeah, it is. It's really pretty cool. Alright, so to turn this thing off, we just turn the radios off, pull the red knob. Shut the key off and the power switch underneath it. 